But I'm, when you, I, I don't even, I'm not sure I'm writing for kids, but my mother doesn't leave me alone, man. Did your parents bug you at all? All the time. All the time, yeah. When are you going to make me a grandma of that horse shit? Non-stop. When are you going to make me a grandmother? Like, it's their business, you know? They don't care if you're happy. They want to be happy. Then you can fit into that happy. Right? Every time I talk to them, when are you going to make me a grandmother? I'm going to make myself an orphan in a moment, you know, shut up. It's not for me. Then I get this. Well, I thought you'd be a father by now. So what? I thought you'd be in a home by now. How do you think I feel? You're bitching, but I expected some money out of the deal. Yeah? Follow around the house. Power of attorney. What? Who said that? Power of attorney. Crazy woman. Power of attorney. <laughs> yeah, I can see why she might be concerned. I got married in mid 30. She probably thought I was gay or something like that. But obviously, I'm not gay. But I have had one gay experience, which left me kind of torn. <laughs> Now, if I said the experience left with a really bad taste in my mouth about the whole situation, but I don't know, uh, something wasn't my fault, or uh, came out ahead in the end, anything like that, or uh, you know, really though, you know, being a grandmother seems like the easiest job on the planet. What do you gotta do? You show up, you hug the kid, you give him 20 bucks, you remember his name once in a while, that's all you gotta do, right? But no, no my grandparents came from Eastern Europe in World War II, you know the horror stories, misery, misery, coming out of their heads, every story was the same nightmare and everything you had. Oh, you stewards, you have no idea. We were on a train for five days, then we went to the camps, and thousands died in the camps. And then I'm 12 years old, my dad's like, Stu, get on the train, we're gonna send you to camp. What? What? <laughs> shower once that summer. Oh no, people. I've seen the movies. You know, hey, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on the Jew. Alright, I'm gonna say that right now. 